everyone, it's Laquita here. And I just wanted to show you a project that I just finished. And this is a little chair that I made and it's made from an old Valentine's candy box that I had thrown in the drawer and decided to pull it out and do something with it. And so the bottom part of the chair is what's made out of the box. This top part is just made out of a piece of chipboard that I cut using one of my heart dies. So I will um, take it apart so you can get a better look at it. So you can see that this is the inside of the candy box and it was red and I've painted it gold all around the outside and also just on the inside I painted it gold there. And then I tea dyed some fabric and that's what I put on the inside here on the bottom and on the sides here. And then I just trimmed it out with a little bit of trim right there. And then on the outside I used two different trims here and then I added a little tulle skirt to it. And then on the bottom of the box I finished it off with uh, some paper and also with some feet. Now the feet that I put on this box are upside down and that's the only way I could get them to work. Normally they would look like this and your box would be sitting you know right in that groove right there and because they're made for a box that has corners they won't really work on this box so the only way I could get the feet to work was to turn them upside down and I think it works out just fine you know instead of it standing on its feet it's standing on these little tips which is fine it balances just perfectly there's nothing wrong with it at all so I think it actually turned out very nice so that's the bottom part of the box and then the top part this uh, is the lid part of the candy box and I've just padded um, the top part and I've covered it with this beautiful fabric that was made um, from a drapery that I picked up at a thrift store and then I've added the little uh, rolled edge around there around the cushion and then um, the beading I've added all that on there and also it's covered in the fabric around the edges the outside edge there too and then it's got this pretty trim going around it and I see spider webs in there okay and then on the inside um, I used the same fabric just on the top and then I finished it out with a trim and then it's been painted gold just on the inside here and then the top of the um, or the back of the chair like I said I made that part out of a chipboard and then I just covered it with fabric there and padded the front and then trimmed it out with a little bit of trim there and one other thing I wanted to mention was um, this candy box every time I would put the lid on it and then try to take it off it would have such a tight um, fit it was hard for me to pull the top off so that's why I added this trim and I added it halfway down so it will stop the lid about right you know right there where the trim work is so now when you put the top on and off it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the box and now it just slides off and on very easy and, and doesn't form that tight fit like it was before and then I finished it out with just this pretty little jewelry piece I have here some gold leaves and a little five star flower there so that's my little chair made out of my empty Valentine's candy box now you're wondering what am I going to do with that chair well I had this beautiful lady here and her name is Sally and I picked Sally up from a website and I will put a link in the description below in case you're interested in where I got Sally from and she is made of porcelain and the lady that makes these dolls will custom make them to whatever you want you can change the hair color the eye color the skin color whatever you'd like to do and so she made Sally Sally was originally a flapper girl she comes with um, earrings and um, bracelets and I believe she even has a necklace on but I asked her to take those things off. I wanted my doll to be plain. And so this is how she turned out. But I just liked her arms. I liked the pose that she has. And so I wanted her, and her name is Sally. And um, so her skirt, it's, it's looking like it might be white, but it's actually a very light yellow color. 
and the ruffle around the top of her dress is the same fabric as the skirt part. And then I just added some lace around the bodice of her dress. And then she's got a little bit of um, beading dangling from the front. And um, on the back, I also added a little bit of um, beading right there that forms a little loop. And that little loop fits right on top of that leaf right there. So I can actually hook her right on the chair and she will sit there and I don't have to worry about her falling off. And she's just gorgeous and she's sitting there on her chair. I think she just turned out lovely. And that's my beautiful lady on her heart-shaped chair. So I just wanted to share that with you all and um, hope you enjoyed seeing my little project. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.